Hey guys and welcome to another very exciting video. Now this video is not going to be a tutorial. I'm still working on the next tutorial which once again is going to be pretty big and if you want to know more about what's coming up I'm going to talk a little bit more about that towards the end of this video so just jump to the end if that's kind of what you're here for. In this video I really want to talk about my brand new website. If you have been to my website in the past which is www.surfacedstudio.com on the website I host a lot of written versions of my tutorials. I have all of the download files, I've got forums and a few other bits and pieces. If you've been to the website before, quite honestly it just sucked. It was slow, it was buggy, it was hard to navigate and worst of all I ended up getting a lot of viruses and other issues with the site where people would click through from the description of a YouTube video where I had linked to the tutorial files and they would redirect them through my website to some random place on the internet. Then last year I tried to bring in forums where I wanted to be able to help people a bit better than I can in the comment section on YouTube and because the website runs on WordPress I brought in BB Press but it was again just slow, hard to manage, it was just it was just a really bad user experience. But now I've got at least in my mind really exciting news and that is that we actually moved off our old web host and we got a VPS and that allowed me to rebuild the entire site from scratch without WordPress or BB Press. It's all built on React and Node.js which is a more modern technology but it gives me a hundred percent control over every single bit on that website. The new website should be much easier to navigate. It's got much improved search. It's much faster. It's more responsive. It's got proper sections for where you can find download files. Everything is nicely categorized. The forums run much quicker. I've got rich text editing so you can easily embed images or links to YouTube videos in your responses and I'm really pumped for this new version. Hopefully it makes it's so much easier to use but I do need your help testing it, trying it out because so far I'm, I'm not getting a huge amount of traffic through it anyways but I, I want some more people to try it out, to use the forums, to leave some comments, to create user accounts, to log in, to do all of those things to see what can you break because obviously it's a brand new website. I'm pretty sure there's still lots of other issues with it that I just haven't found yet. So in this video I want to take you through the website, show you some of the stuff that you can now do with it and then get your feedback on stuff that you like, stuff that you hate, stuff that you would love to see because again it's 100% custom so I can add or remove whatever I want. Anyways, if you're just here to learn about the next tutorial that will be coming up, just jump to the end of this video. I'll talk about it there. But now if you're up for it, let's have a look at the new website. This is my brand new website. Style-wise, it kind of does look similar to the old one, but everything's been absolutely rebuilt from scratch. On the homepage, you'll find a list of the latest tutorials. If you come down a little bit, you'll find some of my official training courses. In case you don't know, I actually do sell some of my training on platforms like Udemy, where I do some more intensive, some really, really in-depth and long training courses that I actually then sell for money, whereas everything on YouTube and everything on my website is always free. Then there's a quick way to just browse different tutorials for After Effects, Premiere Pro, Blender, HitFilm and whatnot. And then you get a couple of my more recent blog entries. Now, the main thing you probably want to do is you probably want to search. You probably just want to know, well, how do I do morphing? So let's simply search for morphing, hit enter and you're taken to the results page and this search here uses a different technology than WordPress. It uses something called Elasticsearch. It is much more intelligent. You'll hopefully get much more relevant results. Maybe let's try this out. Maybe let's go from morphing to, maybe we want to find zombie effects. Yep, cool. So it's much more relevant. So the results you should be getting should much quicker take you to where you want to go. Let's just clear the search for now. You can also simply filter down by category. So for example, let's say I want to learn about Blender. So let's click on that. We're only going to see the Blender tutorials. And then there's a couple of tags. So you could say, actually, you just want the, well, technically all of them are 3D, but maybe you just want the beginner tutorial level. So here's four videos for the beginner tutorials for Blender. And then you can click through to the actual tutorial. This one actually has a full written version as well. So you kind of go through that step by step if you want to. Let's just come back to the top. And this one doesn't actually have any tutorial files associated with it. But if you're ever looking for downloads for the actual tutorial files, you can just come up to downloads. And then you'll end up on a page where you actually can directly download all of the files for the different tutorials. Again, on the left hand side, you'll find these filters. So you can say, I'm actually looking for the downloads for a Blender tutorial. So these are the Blender tutorials that have downloads. And you can literally right click these links here and hit save link as, and you'll get the downloads straight to your computer so you can follow along. 
Also, if you jump into any of these tutorials and if there are any tutorial files associated with this video, you'll be able to download them bottom right hand side of this video here. Just click this, you'll get a list of all the tutorial files. You can just download them and follow along. So hopefully that should make it a whole lot easier to just instantly get the stuff that you need to follow along with my tutorials. The next big thing I want to talk about are the forums. So let's come up to the main menu. Here under forums, you can jump directly to After Effects, Premiere Pro, HitFilm, Blender or any of the others. Be sure to read the forum guidelines or the FAQ if you're new here. Maybe we'll jump into the After Effects forum. And in here, you already got a whole bunch of different questions that people asked and helped each other out. For example, let's just jump into masking out sky and trees. And in here, again, you just very standard forum style, right? You'll get questions and then you can reply here. Now, one thing that isn't actually quite that obvious, let's just use these breadcrumbs here. You can return to the After Effects forum, but let's just go back to the root of the forums. And let's just say you have a question or a problem with After Effects, Premiere Pro, Blender, or any of these programs. Now, it's not quite obvious here. I need to tweak this a little bit right now. I don't have a button here to create a new topic or ask a question because I'm not logged in. So it actually tells me you are not logged in. It should probably say in order to create a topic, you need to log in. So let's just log into the website. And by the way, if you don't have an account, you can just come to register here. Um, it'll ask you to provide some basic information. It's absolutely free. doesn't cost you a thing. Yes, I am collecting your email address, but I'm not sending that off to anyone. The only reason I do that is so I can verify your email address, make sure there's actually a human at the other end because I do get a lot of bots otherwise. So once you've signed up, let's just go back and log in. And you will have to answer this Google recapture. Again, it just prevents spam because on my old WordPress site, I've been getting way too much and it was absolutely unmanageable. Once we've done that, we can log in. And we're back in the forums. And now I have a button here at the top to say new topic. I can ask a new question. So let's just pop this open. You can then select the forum that you want to ask your question in. Let's just say I want to create one in After Effects. And my topic title is going to be how do I track an object that goes off screen? Over on the right hand side, it'll actually indicate whether this is a valid topic name because if this topic or a topic with this name already exists, you won't be able to create one. And then at the bottom here, you'll have this rich text editor. So you can actually make bold text. You can have formatted code, you can have lists and you can insert links images and YouTube videos directly into your topic or in your replies to other people. Hopefully this will make it much easier to share content and actually get help because the biggest problem with the YouTube comment sections or Facebook is people can't easily embed an image or a YouTube video. So it's really difficult to answer questions in the way that is actually useful to other people. So let's just ask a question, how do I do this? Maybe I want to embed a YouTube video and you're going to get this little modal and you need to paste a YouTube URL here. The easiest way to do that is simply come to YouTube to whatever video you're watching right now. You can come down into share and all you want to do is you really just want to copy this YouTube link. So you can copy that or if you wanted to, you can literally just take the link out here top, just copy that, come back to the website and then just paste that URL right in there. You'll get a little preview. So it's picked up the video correctly. Hit OK. And now it literally embedded that YouTube video in your answer. Let's just finish that off. Let's hit create topic. Again, I need to verify that I am indeed not a robot. Let's hit create topic. And there it is. There's a new topic. And I'll actually get notified that a new topic was created via email so I can jump in and reply to you and other people obviously can reply as well. Top right hand side in the topics, you actually got this little bell icon works exactly the same way as YouTube. I can untick this so I can unsubscribe for notifications. If you reply to this topic or you create the topic, you will automatically be subscribed to notifications. So you'll get notified via email on the email address that you registered for the forums with whenever someone replies to you. So you can keep track of all of the conversations that are going on. Now, if you don't want that, and again, this is something brand new just on this new version of the website, you can jump into your profile. Your profile will actually show you all of the notifications you have outstanding. This is for topics that got updated since you last viewed them. You can show all of your subscriptions, so all of the topics that you subscribe to that you will get notified over. And you can simply just click on any of these bells to unsubscribe from them. I'm just going to resubscribe because I actually care about these two. You can see which topics you created as well as the replies you've left. And if you want to change your avatar, that works via Gravatar. If you click on this, it'll take you to the forum FAQ and it'll actually explain exactly how you can change your logo so it looks nice and pretty on the forums. 
The other section I'm really excited about on this website as well is that I actually now have a dedicated page for my shop, which is again, where I sell merchandise and training courses. Again, you can filter down everything. And the one thing I have added, which again, I didn't have before is I've got a section for sales and promotions. You can either filter on the top left here or under shop, you can go directly to sales and promotions. And this is all of the specials going on right now. Full disclosure, a lot of these companies I have affiliates with, which means that if you purchase through the links I provide you, I will get a small cut, but you will also still get the discount. So all of the ones that I'm offering here are usually the ones that also benefit you. So you can get right now 15% off Boris FX, 10% off at FX Home, 10% off at Action VFX, and FX Home until the 16th of April. So for two more days has a 30% spring sale on as well. So you can just jump in here. You can simply go grab deals now. It'll take you across to the FX Home website and then you can buy your things right through here and you get 30% off up until the 16th of April. Obviously, we're kind of silly if I didn't recommend. Check out my training courses if you are up for some more in-depth training on After Effects, Blender, Premiere Pro. I'm currently putting one together for HitFilm, which is going to be absolutely massive. It's going to be like a 10-hour course. It's going to come on here as well and obviously I'll make a video about it on YouTube. Then under About, you'll find my portfolio. So if you want to check out some of the short films I created, you can just jump in here, filter this down to the film projects only. You can check out some of the short film stuff that I've created. You can go to the blog. You can check out reviews for different tech gear. I want to add some more. I just haven't really gotten around to it. I really need to get a bit quicker in actually creating some videos. Then over on the right hand side, this little envelope is really important because this is where you can send me a message directly. So if you have any feedback, if you actually stuck around in this video for long enough, let me know what you think of this website. Like leave me a message, send me something. You can also use this little feedback pop-up right here on the right hand side. Just leave me some feedback. Tell me what you think of the website. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you have issues with it? Like if you can't register or you can't leave a comment, you're getting weird errors, please tell me because I want to fix those things up. I want to make this a nice experience and I do want to make the forums useful. I want to make this a place where people can ask and help each other out and get help and I'll be very active on these forums as well. So any questions you have, just leave them right here. Other than that, I always appreciate all and any feedback that you may have for me. Thank you so much for your time. And if you have a chance, I would really appreciate it. If you could tell me what you like or hate about the website or try it out and, you know, tell me any issues that you find because it is a new website. I'm pretty sure there's still plenty of things wrong with it. Now, the next upcoming tutorial that I'm actually working on is actually a new Premiere Pro beginner tutorial because in case you don't know, my last Premiere Pro beginner tutorial is about four or five years old. It's really ancient, so I want to make a newer one. But on good recommendation of my wife, I'm actually going to release the next tutorial in German. Now, don't freak out. I'm personally subtitling everything in English, so I'm learning how to do subtitles in Premiere Pro as well, so you'll get really clean and nice English subtitles to follow along as well. So you're not gonna miss out if you only speak English, but I do speak German and I do speak English and the wife recommended, why don't you try making one in German and just see how it flies. So again, I will be looking for your input and you can already leave your comments down below if you already got a strong opinion on it, but don't worry, it will be German language, but English subtitles. And well, because it is a pretty long video, it's going to run up to about 50 minutes, just like almost everything I do seems to do. It's just taking me a little longer. I'm hoping to get it out in a week's time, maybe two weeks. I'm, I'm tr really trying to get this done as soon as I can. The subtitling is killing me a little bit because 50 minutes of video to be subtitled takes a little while. Anyways, now I feel like I've waffled on for long enough. Thank you again so much for your time and all of your help. If you do have any comments, questions or suggestions, just leave them down in the section below. If you want to support me while I do in this channel, just check out all of the links down in the video descriptions. And finally, thank you very much for watching and until next time, I will see you later.